Hi there, this is Dr. Everybody. I'd like to introduce you to uh, my programming lab. Uh, in this window, we, uh, we see what it looks like after you have logged in and gotten into the course. A uh, couple of things to notice is that there are a couple of warm-up exercises and a section called Beginnings, which actually has uh, your first assignment in it. Warm-up exercises have a little bit of explanation. They don't count for anything. Uh, the Beginnings has a set of five exercises for you to do. What I'm going to do today is just pick an exercise that, uh, that you're not doing and just sort of show you how it works. So I just sort of grabbed one here. And you know, so we get a little bit of a sense of what an exercise looks like and, and how it works. And the wording is always a bit convoluted because in the end here we're going to see that the answer is quite simple and it's a little hard to describe. Uh, so the problem is described in this box here. Assume there's a variable h which has already been assigned a positive integer value. Uh, for right now let's call it 2. So h has a value of 2. Write the code necessary to assign its square to the variable g. So what they want you to do is say g equals uh, my h squared and to do squared it's double stars to the 2. Alright, so if h had a value of 8 then h squared would be 64 and that would be what g would have. So the answer that they are looking for here is this. Now we can try that out in, in the shell. It's often a good idea to do these in the uh, uh, in the Python shell and so direct your attention over here into the Python shell and we'll uh, we'll take a look at that. So let's give h some value. They, their example they had h had a value of h and Z, g is supposed to get a value of h squared. What is the value of g, which I get that way or that way? And so I, it said uh, if, if h is, has a value of h, then g will have a value of 64, which is what I have. And so this is what they are looking for. It's a little hard to describe a problem like that. But it's, it's uh, so don't make too much. These are supposed to be simple little or I shouldn't say simple. These are supposed to be short exercises. So we assume H already has a value. So, oops, squared. All right. So there's there's an answer, or there's my solution. I can say submit, and we wait for a minute. It says good show. We got the answer, and there is what it is. And you can go. And you can look and see there are other possible uh, solutions. Uh, and it can even show you some incorrect ones. Uh, now let's, let's pick another one here and show you what happens. Let's see what it is. I haven't even looked at this one yet. A wall has uh, been built with two pieces of sheetrock, a smaller one and a larger one. The length of the smaller one is stored in the variable small. Okay, so we've got something named small, and let's let's. It says it has some value, so let's give it a value of two. And like the larger one is stored, the variable large, so there's going to be a large. We'll call it five. Write a single expression whose value is the length of the wall. All right. Well. Uh, so the length of the smaller one, and so, ah, so we've got two of these pieces, so what is going to be the uh, value of the wall? Now notice how it says a single expression. Got to watch out for some of their wording here. So an expression will be something like 3 times 4, right? It won't be x equals 3 times 4, it's, it's, not, an, it's not a whole statement, it's just the expression. So in this case, the length of the wall will be, uh, whoops, not 2 plus 5, 
it will be small plus large. All right, not x equals small plus large or something, or wall equals small plus large. They only want an expression. That's an expression. There's no equal sign. And we can uh, enter that. And, and this time I'm going to make a mistake. Okay, so we will say uh, small times large. Right? We, we know it should be small plus large, but let's, let's uh, see what an error looks like. All right. and, and it says, okay, you've got some, uh, you know, some errors, and a particularly useful thing is this right here. View the test case table. So you can find a lot of clues in there. So let's take a look. Boom, there, and it will give us some, uh, some test cases. And, and in these test cases, they give you, uh, you know, a couple of, you know, so here's, so suppose the large is two and the small is uh, one, then uh, what we got was a two, and that was the wrong answer. Uh, and the same thing, suppose we had a 10, 12 and a 10, we'd get 120. So they have a series of those test cases. Uh, we, you can hover over that and it says, ah, it should have been a three. So, so there's a lot of clues here. So, so let's, let's now go back and uh, uh, go back to my work area and say, all right, oh, I looked at that and I realized, oh, I, I put a uh, multiplication in there when I really meant to put addition and now it says I've got the uh, correct answer again there are other ones that are in there uh, and and there we go so there's a little bit of a look at how you can you can do this by the way you can uh, uh, look up uh, ones by uh, exercise number as well as by uh, by the uh, standard by the name and that's an